What's going on, YouTube? How you guys doing? It is smoky out here. Can you see that behind me? I'm out of my uh, parents' house. And I feel like doing some carving today. I got my Dremel and everything, so I think we're going to carve out here. And uh, I'm going to carve some pumpkins, or a pumpkin. It's Halloween's coming up pretty freaking close. It's going to come up before you know it. If I don't get started carving pumpkins now, I'm going to be rushing to get a whole bunch done later. So I'm going to try to sell a bunch of pumpkins. So, Anyways, we're going to carve some kind of pumpkin. i got to find a log. Let me turn this here phone around and show you guys what's up. Here comes the kids. Well, some of the kids. What's up, Scout? You going to help me find a piece of wood to carve? Come on, let's go look for some wood. Pile of wood back here. Maybe we can find a little log. If I had a chainsaw, I'd try to carve one of those, but I have never carved, never carved with a chainsaw yet. But one day. You just want to come with us? Okay, you can come with me. These are kind of cool. If you make little slices, they'll be little hearts. Let's see. We're looking for pumpkin. Pumpkin carving log. Something pretty small. I mean, we could always cut it down, but yeah. I'll help you, yep. Alright, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna help her get her shoes on. Alright, shoe, shoe crisis avoided. She's got her shoes back on her feet. Now we can start looking for some wood to carve. So we're gonna carve a pumpkin, Kyler, and it's probably gonna be about a little bit bigger than a baseball. So we need a baseball sized thick piece of wood. Oh, that's a little thin, dude. Like maybe, um, that'd be nice if it didn't have so many cracks in it. Sure. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, maybe like this one right here. So I gotta go and slice this probably in half, and then we can carve it into a pumpkin. So I just got an just got an idea here. Just looking at this log. Instead of cutting it in slices and making like a jack o' lantern, right? Well, we hollow this log right in this area. Carve a pumpkin inside the log. Like a jack-o'-lantern face inside. I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know how well it'll work. So, anyways. Yeah, this log sits at a little bit of an angle backwards. So, I'm thinking right around here. We'll hollow it out. With a jack-o'-lantern in the middle. That'd be pretty cool. That's what we're going to try to do. I don't know how well it's going to turn out. I'm going to record this and I'll post the video either way. It may, may end up really cool. It may end up like crap. But either way, you guys are going to see it. So, let's see what we can do. Alright guys, I know this isn't the ideal setup here, but we'll make it work, right? Plug in the uh, foot pedal here. Let's see. Get the cord plugged in over here. Alright, got everything set. Alrighty, cool. Let's see here. Get up a chair. Make sure everything's cool. Alright, yeah, you guys can see me just fine. Okay, so, uh, <clears throat> this log here. We said we already set it on the table. We found out where we wanted to carve the thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker, mark out a little circle on here. And I'm going to take away the bark. I just exposed just the wood. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So we got a little hollow space carved out there. And we're going to put a jack-o'-lantern in there. So there's a, there's a crack in the wood here. Um, it's one of those things you can't really avoid, man. And when you take the bark off, it kind of exposes itself. And you get what you get. 
in this case, uh, I don't think it's going to be a huge deal because we're carving jack-o'-lantern and pumpkins have, you know, they got lines, segments or whatever, so we'll just kind of we'll try to use that to our advantage. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start by just drawing a little round circle. Doesn't have to be perfectly round, because like I said, it's a pumpkin. Pumpkins are kind of lumpy. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's going to have some type of stem on it as well. See that? Kind of. Right. And then uh, the cracks of the, or the line segment areas. I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go, really. Kind of try to incorporate that crack as a segment. We'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, I'm going to use the cut saw, Extreme Flame Burr. There'll be a link in the description if you guys want to get one of these. Save yourself 10% uh, by using my promo code it'll be down below and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and try to get rid of some of this uh, empty area back here kind of make the pumpkin itself pop out Alright guys, so kind of see how the pumpkin's starting to pop out of there a little bit. Anyways, we're just going to keep going through and just take this background deeper and deeper. Make that pumpkin like the main attraction, right? So, anyways, I'll get back with you guys in a minute. I'm just going to keep on carving. Alright guys, hopefully you can see that. Pumpkin's starting to stick out of there a little bit. Anyways, we're going to keep on working this thing down. Background needs to go deeper. Make that pumpkin come out a little bit more and then we can start kind of making it around, right? So, I'm going to keep carving. I'll get back with you guys. Touch base with you soon. Alright guys, so we've gotten it to uh, the stage here. It's starting to look like a pumpkin. So anyways, I've gone ahead and I've switched over to... Ooh, where are you? There you are. Can you see it? Uh, yeah. Anyways, switch over to this bird here. It's got a little bit of serratedness on the top. So basically what I'm going to do, and I'll show you guys, it's going to be sped up. I'm just going to take the tip of this, put it inside there, and just take the wood all the way down until it's all done, all the way around. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. guys so I've been going at this for a while now I got it down to a depth that I kind of like okay so now what we're gonna do is go over to this uh, taper mirror that I have and we're gonna undercut the pumpkin and then we're gonna start rounding it Alright guys, 
guys, so uh, yeah, we went over and just kind of cleaned up the pumpkin. See, I left the background underneath a little rough, kind of like uh, so it looks like it was actually carved into the wood. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw a face onto this pumpkin. Well, first we gotta do the little pumpkins, pumpkin lines. It's already got one, so we're just gonna do one more. Okay, and then uh, now we let's carve that real quick, <laughs> and then uh, we'll draw the face. <laughs> All right guys, so this is what we've come up with so far. It's a little rough, but we're getting there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and sand this dude up. Well, first what I'm gonna do is paint inside black, right? And then we'll go ahead and sand him so that the, the inside of his face, his mouth and his nose and all that, and then the cracks and everything will stay black, but the rest will be not black. Does that make sense? So yeah, let me do that and and there you have it guys, it's a pumpkin and a log. So I kind of sanded the paint off a little bit, you know, and then stained the whole thing, give it that antique -y look. And that's what we got, pumpkin and a log. All right guys, so I went back and repainted him. He was a little too weathered looking, now he looks better. And then I also, uh, I leveled this out on the top and drilled a hole in it. Hole pops through right there. So now uh, the idea is <laughs> we light an incense on the top, like one of the cone incense, and it'll downdraft, and the smoke will come out around the pumpkin. So we'll see if that works. So uh, I'll update you guys and show you a video of that as soon as I find some cone incense. Alrighty.